Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're starting a brand new series, Astrology Yoga, starting with the signs. Later on we'll do the planets which is almost more exciting than the signs but they're very interconnected so we'll cover both really uh, during the signs. Today's class is going to be, we'll start with Taurus, the most Venusian of the signs, pleasure, sensuality, ruled by Venus. The sign of Venus is spirit, the circle with the cross, which is the physical and the suffering. So bringing the suffering up into the spirit and up into the spiritual experiences. Venus really brings the spiritual down into the physical and helps us through art, through music, through creativity. It helps us manifest the spiritual, the divine in physical form. That's what Venus does, that's what Venus represents and Taurus is the most, um, the closest representation of Venus in astrology, in the physical. We'll focus today, we can focus on improving the negative sides of um, a sign or um, uh, where they fall short or we can focus on enhancing uh, the strengths of a sign and we'll focus on that today we'll focus on that in Taurus that is very inspiring um, the sensuality the experience of um, the senses pleasure the appreciation of nature I have Taurus rising so <laughs> I can I can really really feel the sign I'm Venusian ruled, so Venus is my ruling planet. I can really, really, really feel the beauty of Venus and uh, where Venus really shines, where Taurus shines, where we can really appreciate beauty and art and food and slowing down and tasting things, but not just tasting food and getting lazy, which is the negative sides of Taurus, but tasting with appreciation of nature and not just physical tasting but tasting art and experiencing um, the absolute magnificence of this place the creative um, exuberance of this place earth so it's an earthly sign very grounded speaking of grounded i'm announcing <laughs> we're doing new series on um, the membership so we just finished the fruit flows they were um, really inspiring really amazing yoga really inspired by the fruits and their healing properties and the flower essences of each fruit so we're starting roots yoga roots yoga will be really to help us now after working with all the spiritual um, and emotional balancing elements of the fruits roots yoga will connect us to the earth to the ground and to our core and to our own roots so it's going to be different energy but just as important energy and i've been putting three new classes my promise is two but i've been putting for the entire fruit um, april i've been putting three new classes a week so we'll continue with a lot of new classes each and every week that are really really focusing on learning expanding growing and getting in getting in because that is my main teaching no matter what i teach you i really i inspire to teach you that you are your own teacher i don't want to transmute knowledge to you i want to just hold space so that you can really access your own teachings because every human is faulty so when you look outside of us, we are bound to make a mistake. But when we look within, and when we learn how to look within, the guidance becomes real. It becomes a higher guidance. What's inside is what's above, right? We connect how Venus is, we bring the Venus sign, uh, we bring that spirit down into the physical and we feel connected to that divine energy in the physical form and another small announcement before we begin the venus uh, taurian flow the beauty of taurus flow um, i as you know i have mentioned this is a little more serious i've mentioned this uh, before and it's almost like an apology but announcement letting you know uh, my goal and in the beginning you know I always put everything for free on here but as um, YouTube YouTube became more and more censored platform uh, it became less and less possible for me to share here and as the censorship expanded became worse and worse I should say 
um, I can put less and less. Even uh, even this is pushing it uh, doing the astrology uh, classes because with the announcing that you can mention vitamin C or you can mention anything of healing nature, you can mention or it has to be only certain things. It's becoming really, really offen offensive to my conscience and consciousness. And it's becoming against my own moral and value system, not to mention that banning channels, shadow banning, it's just becoming really, really, we as people have to really start talking to each other, connecting and figuring out solutions. So that is the announcement. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to share for as long as I can, and I can't promise how long that will be. But for now, uh, Taurus uh, is starting with the astrology series and hopefully they will lift all the censorship and I'll be able to finish them on here. If not, I will for sure finish them on the membership or other platforms. So stay connected with me beyond this platform on Instagram, Facebook, where uh, all the places, my website, all the places that I am very active and present at so that we can continue to expand and build a beautiful new future. Let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. So we'll begin. Um, get something pink on you. It, it, has, it can be just um, a lip gloss, something small or, and pink you can use or I will transmute it to you, rose quartz, anything pink, Venusian, uh, something beautiful art uh, so that it gets you in the mood, in the Venusian appreciation of earth um, and beauty mood and we'll start at the front of the mat, bring the hands over the heart, smile and allow each breath to bring relaxation and a sense of pleasure in, in the body. Surrendering to the beautiful element of life, to the pleasurable, the easy, the blessed. Inhale the hands over the head and reach over to your right, stacking the shoulders and bringing the shoulders in the same plane. Opposite side, lengthen, really lengthen both sides here. Connect with the belly. And again, so this is a connected move here rather than just reaching. Look up and opposite side. And back to center and let's bring the chin in, bringing it in towards the collarbone. Taurus rules the throat and the lower jaw. And look up. And again, bring it in. Stretching the back and contracting the front without compression. And look up, stretching stretching the throat. Inhale the hands over the head, sit back chair. Exhale, hands behind you. Clasping and in a forward bend, just move side to side here, smile. And relax the back of your head. And let's bring both hands on the floor. Bend the left knee, left hand down, take the right arm up, lengthen. Opposite side. Exhale down and step it back, plank. 
feeling the body that is the main lesson we can learn from Taurus is to really really feel in an earthy grounded way feeling the body feeling the experience of being human being a divine being in a physical body and chaturanga and upward dog now venus is about pleasure but taurus also represents real bull-like strength and back to chaturanga downward facing dog and breathe taurus you could say he's stubborn she's stubborn but you could also spin it and say consistent loyal persistent nice breath softening the throat and you can wiggle the hips here side to side in a dense manner try to find beauty in the moves now the phrase beautiful yogis is a venusian taurian phrase appreciation of beauty beauty that is the divine beauty not the physical keep walking in place in downward dog spreading the fingers open and back to plank and we're going to do a few wave like moves plank to semi down dog and plank pull the belly in round the back semi down dog plank very good connecting the core one more and down dog inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left And drop it behind while thing. And you can bring your right hand behind the head, press the elbow back, and really lift the chest, open it. Stretching the throat again. Great. From here, side plank. One leg is plank, right leg up in the air. And we're going to bring the right knee in, bend the left knee in a O3, semi O3, and the knees are off the floor. And we're going to spin the right knee across and give it a little tap here. So the right knee taps the floor and comes back. And we'll do 10 of those. This was a demo. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Step the right foot through, drop the back knee down and lift. Opening the chest here, crescent lunge. Bring the back knee of the floor, high lunge. Open the arms out, twist, and bring the right hand down the left leg. Lift. Here we're gonna look right ahead of us and take the right hand on the floor with one sweeping move. Take the back leg up, right arm up. Lift in, revolving half moon and step it back plank and chaturanga and up dog and down dog now nothing is more torus than the second chaturanga if you're skipping it <laughs> you're skipping the torus quality
and let's take the left leg up open wow thing drop it behind and lift You can bring the hand behind the head and open here. Press the elbow back and really lift through the heart. Side plank. Strength. Find the steady strength within. I've been teaching you the steady strength of Taurus for years. And the beauty strength. Great. And one-legged plank here we're going to bend the right knee kind of like all fours alignment except for the knees off the floor and we're going to bring the left knee and tap it across let's go one two really squeeze your legs three this really shapes them four to give you that venusian shape six seven eight nine ten step it through drop the back knee down and come up low lunge crescent lunge bring the back knee up high lunge open the arms out twist reach down the right leg lift Tasting the sensations in the body, especially a pose like this where there is a lot going on and twisting and reaching and lengthening and opening and beautifying yourself. Tasting it. Get down in the body. Feel the body. And revolving half moon. Lift that back heel, lift, great, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, And we'll take plank and here we'll move from plank to down dog with right hand to left outer ankle and back and opposite and back so let's go one alternating pull the belly in two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and plank. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the right leg up, open. Drop it behind. Wild thing, you can bring that hand behind the head, the elbow pressing back, allowing you to really lift the chest and open. Side plank. So now we're going to stagger the legs and, and bring alternating knees in. Let's go one, one, two, two, three, three, Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. One legged plank, right leg up in the air, bend the knees in airborne all fours, and we're going to bring. Here the right knee towards the right armpit. 
triceps. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge. Really getting all that area. Fired up, connected. Really feeling the body. That is the main lesson of Taurus. Feeling the physical and in its higher representation, feeling the divine expression in a physical manifestation really being able to bring that divine soul experience in a form which is the physical form and the physical art and the music that's on earth and the expression of frequency in a dance form i, I bet you you, <laughs> you haven't heard about taurus in that way <laughs> Taurus is always like the food and the money and the riches and the gold. But really, really the higher expression of Taurus is profound. Releasing all the stubbornness and attachment and addiction and appreciation of things that we can take with us when we die into more being the channel that brings that divine into a physical form and finding that stability and strength and connection to this beautiful mother earth through the body so take a big breath close your eyes feel it feel your body feel your connection to the earth through the stones, through the plants, through the air, through the soil, the mud. Hence in prayer twist. Inhale up and we're going to keep the hands over the heart and transition in warrior three. And back, high lunge, warrior three. High lunge, warrior three. High lunge, warrior three. High lunge, warrior three. High lunge. Hands on the floor with a really straight back. Push the heel up, squeezing the booty. Warrior three, so that is a deadlift variation. Two, three, really lift. Four, five. Stepping at the front on the right leg and ballet pulsing the left diagonally. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and vinyasa. Take the left leg up and open it and lift. You can bring that hand behind and open. Smile, breathe. Side plank, stagger. And we're going to bring the knees in. One, one, two, two, squeeze. Three, three, four, four, mula banda, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One legged plank, bend the knees, hover them over the floor, knee 
towards the triceps. Squeeze your heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge. Breathe. Twist. Bring the back heel straight up. And come up. Warrior theme. High lunge. Warrior theme. Lift that back heel, turn the toes down. High lunge. Three. Four. Feel the body. Five. And we're going to touch the floor with hips level and heel lifting. Straight back, really important the back. And step it back. Two. Focus on your form here. Three. Four. Five. Everything squeezing. Stepping at the front. Soft left knee and open. One, two, three. Squeeze. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back into plank and chaturanga and up dog and chaturanga and down dog. Plank, step your right foot through, thread your left foot into a kick, you can squeeze the elbow in and step it back in plank and we'll do the same side 10 times, 3, 4, 5, smooth, Moves seven, eight, nine, ten. Really using the inner thigh and opposite side. Starting with the left step through, kick through and back, one, two, three, hold Mula Banda, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Ojai. Drop the knees down, take the right hand, palm facing up, onto the floor. Back of the head, back of the shoulder down again, 
reminder of the throat area breathe and opposite side coming out let's lower the chest down towards the earth coming up on all fours take the right leg up right hand to right ankle open press the ankle into the hand to open the shoulder You can work with opening the hips, closing the hips. Opposite side. And down dog. Breath, Mala Banda. Let's roll the hands back to the legs, bring them onto your thighs. Time for a stomach vacuum. Exhale and hollow the belly. One more. One last. And reach over the head, arch. Exhale, folding, walk your hands to the front. Take the right leg up, open, wealthy. plank step it through and come up with a straight back kick foot to hand and back do our thing and one more time kick through and wow thing and kick through this time step it back in warrior two and hold it reverse it half moon Step it back to side angle. Hands on the ground, right shoulder under the right. Leg for an arm balance. And Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up and open. Drop it behind. Wow thing. Step it through, straight back, kick it through. This is from one of the last week's classes. This combination. And wow thing. We've been doing really intense combinations. 
during the fruit series and the herbal series. Step it through, kick through, lift, open, step it through, kick through. These are full body moves, really engaging functionally the entire body. And step it back in, warrior two. Engaging Mulabanda, root chakra, connection to the earth. Getting grounded, but with the Torian energy in a spiritual way. So we're not getting base instincts grounded. Reptilian brain grounded, but we're connecting to the earth, to Mother Earth as a source of nourishment and connection. The energy always flows, especially even Taurus is the symbol of the circle with the semi circle. So we have that openness towards the skies and the spirit. And most of you maybe know your ascendant, but if you don't check it out, it's your most physical representation of how you approach new beginnings, um, new situations, how you may look physically, you know, so, that will give you an idea about your personality, ascending sign, the planet that was on the horizon, the sign that was on the horizon when you were born, at the hour and the minute and the second you were born. And here we are gonna reverse it. And we're going to shift it. into half moon. Step it back, inside angle. Bring your, bring your shoulder under for a arm balance. And I'll avoid the wall <laughs> and step it back. Chaturanga, up dog, extended puppy pose, knees on the ground, walk them back, 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 and now walk your hands to the front, really stretching and feeling that tug and pull or pull and extension and lower the forehead down with that stretch. bring your feet at the front for chair. Here we're going to squat down, roll back, spinal massage into plow, and again spinal massage forward into a squat. And again, roll it, touch through, squat, roll it, and hold plow. Two shoulders stand. knees over the ears, 
rolling out into squat to plank to chaturanga to upward dog to chaturanga to downward dog And let's bring the knees on the ground and sit onto your body. Forward fold. Hands behind you. Reverse plank. Lower down, left foot into the right upper thigh, forward fold. <sighs> Reverse plank. Squeeze that body, lift it. Opposite side. Reverse plank. Half lotus. Forward fold. Reverse plank. Stay dynamic. And connect it to the body. Half lotus on the other side, forward fold. <sighs> Reverse plank. Right, right foot stepping in, and we're going to reach and wrap the right hand behind, wrap behind and lower down. Reverse plank, opposite side. Reverse plank. Right foot on the outside of the left knee. Lengthen through the crown, twist and look behind you. Reverse plank. Opposite side. Lengthen through the crown, smile. Feel the body. Reverse plank. Soles of the feet together. Open. Now stretching. This is stretching the groin. perineal area, 
the pelvic floor. So finding ways to relax also. Mulabanda does not create tension. Mulabanda creates actually connection. Um, but if you feel that there is imbalance in your pelvic floor, there is tension, then with the stretching pose is also creating the sensation intentionally of relaxation, letting go of muscular tension. And release, reverse plank. Sit down, bend the knees, straighten the back. You can push yourself forward with the arms. Keep that open chest, that connection to the core and shift side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then retouch, sit on the end of the seat bones, which will help you find better alignment here. Keeping the natural curvature of the spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a few roundings of the back and arching, connecting the core. Great, reverse plank. And time to lay down in whichever way serves you, you lay down on your back and again sink back into the body, feel the connection uh, that your back, entire backside makes with the floor. Lay here for a moment, just appreciating the moment. Appreciating the sensation of the moment. The divine physicality of the moment. Extend the left leg, bring the right knee in and Supine twist. Changing sides. and laying down, finding stillness. <sighs> Tapping into that peaceful, quiet space within. Imagining yourself laying on fertile soil, rich, dark, fertile soil. And allow yourself to really, really feel that soil beneath you. Inhale and smell it. Smell that beautiful intoxicating smell of earth and soil and leaves decomposing and microbiome and trillions of microorganisms. And everything that decomposed for the millions of years before that created that soil. It truly reminds us that we're all one, everything becomes soil. 
and soul is so rich and so life giving as everything is born from me with richness when you combine prana sunlight air and soil you have such varieties of fruits and vegetables and herbs abundance this is truly combining the physical with the spiritual when prana comes in contact with the soil in the seed it turns into life inhale smelling that soil mentally and feeling that soil beneath you so stay here for a few moments really seeing yourself laying in the mud and soil and dirt and earth experiencing the pleasure of the moment of the sensations the physical pleasure through all the senses Tasting the moment sensually and feeling the earth beneath the touch and reminding ourselves of the intoxicating smell of the earth of the forest and the tastes and visions there everything we can see and taste and hear and allowing the body to regenerate through that touch in connection to the earth, the soil, to recharge, renew the microbiome. The microbiome is a communication system between us and the earth and the plants between each other and the humans between each other. The interconnectedness that the soil gives us. And let's roll onto our site. 
and sit up. You can do a few circles around the base of the spine. Reversing the direction. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye and over the throat and over the heart. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion, generosity, connectedness, and love. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you with my next class and I'll see you on the website Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, new classes. And remember to flow with strength and ease.